All right, here we are. Um, welcome to the very first video of uh, Jack's Minecraft making. Um, I'm just gonna say right here and now, there are so many Minecraft videos out there with the creepy people, with the stupid voices. I'm just gonna say, you're not gonna get that from me. So if you're expecting some weird voice, just go look for some other video. Anyway, if you're here for cool designs, you're in the right place. I've invented a couple things, um, most of which are useless, but sometimes I actually accomplish something with my work. And today I'll be showing you a double door system operated by a single button. Now, obviously it's somewhat complex if it can operate with a single button but it's simple enough so that people can easily understand it and can easily build it. As you can see, it works flawlessly. Um, for this, you won't really need that much materials, redstone-wise. There is somewhat of a space requirement. If you want the double door system, you can make half of it, and it's easier. But for this, we're just going to make the double door system. Space requirements. You are going to need a 12 by 6 space. Now, that's actually a 10 by 4 space, but that's uncovered. If you're going to cover it to make it completely hidden, you're going to need 12 by 6. So uh, let's just find a spot. Um, lots of room. Okay. Let's see, first of all, let's just build down the wall quick. Alright, we have the general design of it now. For this, you're going to need 12 sticky pistons. Though it seems like a lot, it's not really very worth it too. Let's see. You're going to need to stack both columns up like that. You're going to need these sticky pistons facing towards the passage. Just go ahead and stack this wall up. I'm going to go ahead and place what's going to be in the wall right there. So now we get that out of the way making the rest of the wall itself. Alright, well, you have the actual wall design laid out now. All you have to do, first of all, it, you can really put the button anywhere you want as long as the redstone can reach one of the sections. So for this example we're just gonna have the button on the wall like so. It's gonna need to be in this line right here because there's gonna be uh, some repeaters right along next to them. That's what really allows it to function are the repeaters that run right next to the pistons. Just make a simple box. Nothing too complicated in this, like I said. Okay. Time for the repeaters. You're going to need uh, technically seven of these if you're going to make a basic double door design. You're going to need three on this end. Three on the other end. And then one that we will get to later. Now, redstone. For the redstone, you're going to want to put it, of course, right behind the button. You're going to want to put one right on the little block next to the pistons, too. Now, of course, so how do you get these to connect, and how do you keep the floor intact? Well, it won't be a problem, actually. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this grass to give a better feel for it. Uh, 
All right, so for this, all you really have to do, just think logically, you're gonna need to get the redstone down somehow. Um, like this. It's really good that the bedrock is there because it actually provides a pretty good idea of how far it's gonna be down. There, we have the ground level, one under, one beneath that, so it'll be about three down that you'll actually need it to be. Just dig a little bit that way. Now what you want to do is you go to the other side. You just put redstone down in here. Now here is where the final repeater comes into play. Since when you press this button, it will not go all the way over. So what you want to do is you want to place the repeater somewhere in here. It doesn't really matter because it's going to get it no matter where it is in this bottom passageway. But you're going to need it no matter what. Okay, time for tuning the actual repeaters. For this, um, basically what you have to do is for each side, these are going to be on the basic settings, and then this one is always going to be one above that. But now, since we add in the other repeater that actually allows both the door systems to operate, what you have to do is you have to lengthen these so it times it perfectly on both sides. And then there, it's already done, except for the final touch redstone torches. They will not function without the redstone torches, so you just gotta have them. And there we have it. Just push the button. Voila. All set. Like I said, it's complicated, but it's simple enough for people to actually understand. Um, one of the main things I stress is that when you activate redstone torches, it's actually half of a tick that you would make on a repeater. So it, you can kind of experiment with different functions of it using pistons. Anyway, that concludes this thing. Um, yeah. Double door system, flush with the wall, hidden. You don't even need the button there. Online server, don't even put the button there. Always carry one with you. They'll never know where it is. It could be like a dirt mountain for something. Just walk along, push the button, pick it up, go back in. You can even make a part on the other end that actually closes it now that I think about it. should just demonstrate that pretty quickly. Let's see. If you're going to make it like that, you're going to need one more space. Just so you get an idea of how this actually works. Now if you put a button right there, all you really have to do is just put redstone leading right back to your source. And you can activate it from both sides and it'll look like this. There we go. Have fun, enjoy. Um, I'll be putting up new videos, so expect more. Alright, see you next time.